Let's take a look at the registration system when you have central office access. When you log in, you'll notice you have four buttons to choose from. Uh, one of the first things you should do is update your own contact information. You would do that by clicking on My Info. And we really just need your email address and phone number and your name as well. Uh, you would click on Update when you're done. Notice if you change your password, there's a separate update button when you change your password. So be aware of that. Uh, let's take a look at uh, checking your enrollments or enrolling students. You would do that by clicking on the enrollments button. Now if you want to see the students that you currently have enrolled, uh, again, click on enrollments and choose the semester that you uh, want to run your enrollments report for. So if you have them enrolled in uh, more than one sem semester, like summer, uh, uh, fall, or academic year, that's our year-long courses, you would have to run a report for each one. So you click on the semester that you want your enrollment for, you click on export, and that will open up an Excel spreadsheet with all of your enrollments. Now, it will have it for your entire district. You can't choose by school, but it is an Excel spreadsheet, so you can sort by uh, school and determine it that way. To actually enroll a student, let's take a look at that. You uh, would find the course title that you want to enroll a student in. And again, I got here by clicking on enrollments. So I find the course title, I click on enroll, and now it, it's a little different than it is at the school level. Uh, you'll notice that you don't have any students in the not enrolled column. First, you need to select a site. So you click on that. Now you begin typing the school's name that you want to enroll for, and you will see a list generate uh, of all the schools with that name in it in your district. So I choose one. And now in the not enrolled column, a list of all of the, the students in NCYs will appear. Um, to enroll a student, though, you have to have the checkbox next to his or her name. If it doesn't have that checkbox, it means that uh, the student does not have uh, an email address or it's not been indicated if he or she has an IEP or not. Uh, so to, to get that checkbox uh, for a student that doesn't have it, just click on the student's name. Uh, the update student box will open. Uh, there's several things here that you can fill out, but the two that we have to have uh, are the email address and IEP. So you type in an email address. And indicate if the student has an IEP and click submit and you'll notice there's now a, bo a box next to the student's name. It's already checked. Uh, if you're enrolling more than one student, uh, you can check multiple boxes, but I'm just gonna check that one, click Enroll, and now that student is enrolled for that school. And uh, the drop process is the same way. You find the course that you want to drop a student from, uh, you select enroll next to that course title. You'll have to enter the school name again, select a site, type in the school name, and it will show all the students enrolled in the course. To remove them, you simply check the box next to their name and click remove. So that's how to uh, add and drop students from a course from the central office level. If you want to look at grades for your district, click on reports and you have a whole host of grade reports to choose from. Uh, to run a grade report, click on the radio button, come down here and click on run. Again, that will open up an Excel spreadsheet and the grade reports will have the entire list of enrolled students on it. But for instance, this grade report is just for the students enrolled in early calendar. So not everyone will necessarily have a grade on the enrollment or on the grade report. And that's about it for the central office level. Thank you.